Hello, my name is Mitch, and I will work you through the customer support training module. You're with Bassnet and Cromer Industries, and we're going to get you there. How we'll learn. First, we'll learn. You will learn the five-step process of handling incoming phone calls. Second, you'll observe. You'll be able to watch the trainer answer calls and apply knowledge from the module. Third, we'll test. You will take a test to ensure the retention of information. And last, you'll apply. You'll get on the phone and apply the knowledge gained in the module. Here is an overview of the call center support process. Step 1. Answer the phone with a positive greeting including the company title and your name. Here's an example. Hello, my name is Mitch with Bassing and Cromer Industries. How may I help you today? Step 2. Identify the situation in order to positively help the customer. Here's an example. Sorry to hear about the strip screw you bought, sir. Can I get a receipt number in order to review your transaction? This is a general overview of the greeting. You need to collect as much information as possible to ensure understanding of the customer and the situation. Remember to stay positive and patient with the customer. They're calling you for a reason. Here we begin to learn how you're going to respond to incoming calls. We begin with the five step process. Step one, answering the call. Answer with a welcome greeting. Ask for a name of the individual. State the company name and identify the problem. Step two, obtain information. Locate the problem. Identify the desired result of the customer. Obtain merchandise, purchase verification. Step three, solve the problem. Explain the situation to the customer. Describe how said problem will be solved. Ensure the problem will not happen again. Step four, pass off if needed. You are the first line of defense when a problem occurs. When a situation arises that's out of your control, pass off to the manager on duty. Before passing off, notify the manager. Make sure notes and vital information is given to the manager before they take the call. Step five, ensure the customer is satisfied with the outcome. Make sure once the situation is, dis is discovered and handled, that the customer is pleased with the outcome. Take time to see if any other problems have occurred and solve them when needed. End the call with a nice closure statement, such as, thank you for your time. Call back if anything else comes up. Have a nice day. Now you will observe. Watch the trainer handle a situation. Step one, answer the call. Remember, start with a welcome greeting. Ask for the name of the individual, state the company name, and identify the problem. Watch as I give you an example. Hello, this is Mitch with Bassin and Cromer Industries. May I ask who's calling? Hi, Mr. Craig. How can I assist your call today? Step two, obtain information. Identify the reason for the call. To this scenario, the caller has responded with having a problem with the product's missing items in your package. Watch as I give you an example. From what I understand, sir, you bought a couple of packages from our on-site location and they're missing a couple parts, is that correct? Sorry to hear about that, sir. Do you still happen to have the receipt? You do? Alright, can you read me the verification code so I can pull it up on my computer? Thank you, sir. Step 3. Solve the problem. Identify the best outcome of the problem at hand. Notice it's a simple parts exchange. All that is required is to go to the store and pick up missing parts at no cost. Solving the problems will not always be obvious. For this, refer to the employee manual for additional assistance. Watch as I give an example. Alright sir, what I have done is send an email to the on-site location. They've discovered the missing parts in the packages you bought. All they're doing is waiting for you to come up and they'll give you them on-site. Does that seem like a valuable option for you? Alright sir, I'm sorry to hear about this problem. It should never happen again, but if it does, feel free to give me a call. Again, my name is Mitch. Step 4. Pass off if needed. Some situations you will not be able to handle. In this scenario, the customer is not happy with the result. He or she does not want to have to drive to the store for the missing parts and demands other options to be taken place. Remember, you're the first line of defense. You've done your job in solving the situation to the best of your ability. At this point, you can go no further. Pass the call to the manager in order to calm them down and help them further. Remember, send all valuable information to the manager before passing off. Alright sir, what I've been able to do for you is I sent an email to the on-site location. They have found the missing parts to the packages you bought. Um, all that you have to do is go on-site to pick it up. Does that seem like a valuable option? 
No, sir, I do understand that you do have to make another trip back. That is not okay. Okay, sir, well, what I have done, that's all I'm able to do, but my manager is on site right now, so I'll pass you off to him. Uh, will you please hold? Thanks. Step five, ensure the customer is satisfied. End with a nice closer statement. When passing off is not needed, make sure there is nothing else the customer wants. If so, end with a pleasant goodbye and ensure further help is always at hand if problems arise in the future. Watch as I give you an example. Test time. You have 30 minutes to apply the information from the module. Once you've completed the test, email it to your manager and a grade will be given to determine if you're ready to proceed to answer calls. Do not hesitate to ask any questions that have arisen throughout the module. We are always here to help. Congratulations, if you made it this far, you're able to apply the information. Log in the employee dashboard and begin answering the phone. Remember, your first 10 calls will be recorded. Also, it's acceptable to pass off calls at the beginning. You are new to the job. The number one priority is always our customer. You will be more comfortable as the job becomes familiar. If problems arise early, do not hesitate to inform the manager. 